How should Muslims respond to burning the Holy Quran in Sweden? Part 1. Question, how should Muslims respond to burning Quran in Sweden? Answer. Aslamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This incident has provoked outrage across the globe, and although I believe every Muslim should and would be disturbed by such an act, trying to turn to the Quran and the Sunnah for guidance. I can't help thinking about the hadith in which the Prophet, sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, was asked for advice and he responded, don't get angry. When asked the same question twice again the same answer was given twice again. If we are angered, perhaps we should not act while angry. I think many, in the seen and unseen realm, would encourage such an event in order to anticipate a violent response. And any response other than that arrived at through careful analysis and deliberation would just be giving them what they want. I'm not saying we should be indifferent, but rather we should not be impulsive or impetuous people. Here are some points to consider. Alhamdulillah, the Quran was delivered as a fireproof revelation. They can burn the Mus'haf, but no one can burn the Quran. Inshallah, other copies of the Mus'haf will exist, and we have been blessed with the memory of innumerable Hafas. Those who burn the Mus'haf are, from what I understand, using the correct method for disposing of the Mus'haf. Perhaps those who proceed with this gesture are fulfilling the Qadr of Allah by appropriately removing the guidance of Allah from those who are not deserving of it, i.e. themselves. Allah tells us in the Quran, apologies for using English translation. 2 7 Allah hath set a seal on their hearts and on their hearing, and on their eyes is a veil, great is the penalty they incur. Those who reject what Allah revealed to his messenger continue on the wrong path in their stubbornness. So, it makes no difference whether you warn them or not. Allah has sealed their hearts, locking inside them their falsehood, and has placed a seal on their hearing, so that they do not listen to nor accept the truth. He has put a cover over their eyes, so that they do not see the truth in its clarity. They will suffer greatly. After describing the disbelievers, who are at fault inside and out, he describes the hypocrites, who appear good on the outside, but are not so inwardy. Al-Baqarah, 6-7 7 186 To such as Allah rejects from his guidance, there can be no guide, he will leave them in their transgression, wandering in distraction. Whoever Allah does not guide to the truth, sending them away from the right path, then there is no guide to direct them back to guidance. Allah leaves them in their misguidance and disbelief, wandering blindly, not being guided to anything that will ultimately benefit. al Araf 186 Whoever opposes and disobeys what the messenger has brought after the truth has become clear to them, and follows a path other than that of the believers, I will leave them with what they have chosen. And I will not bring them to the truth, since they have deliberately turned away. I will then enter them into the fire of hell, to suffer in its heat. What an evil place to return to! Anissa, 115 And I will turn their hearts and vision, by intervening between them and preventing their guidance to the truth. Just as I intervened between them and faith in the Quran the first time because of their stubbornness. I will leave them in their misguidance and rebellion against their Lord, confused and wandering. al one ten. 110 After Allah mentioned fighting and praised the believers who stand tightly together in fighting in his path. He mentioned the opposition that the people of Moses and Jesus displayed towards their messengers as a warning to the believers against opposing their prophet, and he said. Remember, O messenger, when Moses said to his people, O my people. Why do you hurt me by going against my instruction when you know that I am Allah's messenger to you? When they moved away and deviated from the truth that he brought to them, Allah caused their hearts to move away from the truth and steadfastness. Allah does not guide to the truth of people who go against his obedience. As Saf, 5. They are responsible for the deeds their hands put forth. As Muslims our duty should be to inform, but if they have in their possession the Mus'haf, then there is probably not much more we can offer. Perhaps acquisition of copies for burning will result in some of those copies being read. An English filmmaker, Chris Morris, made a spoof film which attracted controversy in the UK. During his research for the film he met a man who was an active member of the BNP, British National Party, extreme racist group political party in the UK, not the French bank. His activism centered on aggression towards Muslims. One day he thought he would take a step up and attack them on an intellectual level. He decided to read the Quran so that he could debate them. By the time he finished reading it, he had taken a shahida and became a Muslim. Subhanallah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to express my humble thoughts. And please forgive and overlook anything I have written which is erroneous and are not in keeping with the accepted understanding within the deen. May Allah bless you.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. International Burn a Quran Day The Church completely fails to realize that 100% of the Muslims dearly love and believe in Jesus Christ. Islam is the only non-Christian faith which believes that. Jesus was born miraculously of a Virgin Mary. Jesus is called Ru'Allah and Word of Allah in Quran. The Church fails to realize that by burning the Quran, they will also be burning the holy name of Jesus Christ whom they dearly love. They don't know that Quran says that killing of an inconsent human being is like killing of whole mankind, and saving of one life is like saving whole humankind. Due to Cain's murder of his brother, I informed the Israelites that any person who kills another person for no valid reason, such as legal retribution or as punishment for causing corruption in the land by treason or waging war, it is as if he has killed all people, since he did not make a distinction between an innocent and a guilty person. Whoever refrains from killing a person whose soul I have made sacred, and regards it to be forbidden to kill such a person, it is as if he has given life to all people. Because in such an action lies the safety of all people. My messengers brought to the Israelites clear signs and evidences. Despite this many of them overstepped my limits by committing sins and going against the messengers. al 32 It shows that don't even know what does Quran teaches. Moreover, they are going against the constitution of America themselves and the freedom of religion. They themselves agree that it is a violent way of proving Islam wrong, but they think that this is the way to do it. So we could simply see that they have nothing but a particular hidden agenda against Islam and Muslims. Point number two. We Muslims can't and should not accuse whole Christian community for the act of this church. We know that a whole community can't be blamed for the acts of few individuals. We know that there are black sheeps in every community, so we should not judge Christians just based on this particular church. We know that Christians as a whole are peace-loving community and Muslims and Christians have been living peacefully since ages. Moreover, how can we blame whole Christians when the Christian community as a whole is against this event? Further, there are various churches and Christians who have stood against this event by condemning it and has said without a shadow of a doubt that Christianity opposes this event. So we should be listening to these Christian scholars and Holy Bible, rather than particular individual church, which may or may not follow the teachings of Holy Bible and Jesus Christ. As Muslims we feel oppressed when people link Islam with 9-11, though still there is no convincing proof of who did this act. So we also should not link Christianity with this particular act because if we start doing the same, there will be no difference in Muslims and others. Point number three. Allah commands us in Quran. Quran 60 colon 8, Allah forbids you not, with regard to those who fight you not for, your, faith nor drive you out of your homes, from dealing kindly and justly with them. For Allah loveth those who are just. Allah does not prohibit you from those who have not fought you on account of your Islam, and who have not expelled you from your homes. That you be good and fair to them by giving them any right they have against you. An example of this is how Asma bint Abu Bakr al-Siddiq behaved with her disbelieving mother when she came to visit her after she had taken permission from the Prophet, peace be upon him, for this, and he instructed her to join family ties. Allah loves those who are just to themselves, their families, and what they are in charge of. al mumtahana 8 So, we can't do the same as the church is doing and blame whole Christian community, as they themselves are supporting Quran in this event along with the Muslims. Allah describes them, truthful Christians, very beautifully in the Quran in following words. Quran 5 hours 82 minutes, strongest among men in enmity to the believers wilt thou find the Jews and pagans. And nearest among them in love to the believers wilt thou find those who say, we are Christians. Because amongst these are men devoted to learning and men who have renounced the world, and they are not arrogant. You will find, O Messenger, that the people with the most hostility towards those who have faith in you and that which you brought are the Jews, due to their malice, jealousy and pride as well as the idol worshippers and others who associate partners with Allah. You will also find that the people who are closest in affection to those who have faith in you and that which you brought are those who call themselves Christians. The verse explains that the reason for these people being close to the believers is that there are scholars, ascetics and worshippers among them who are humble and not proud. Good does not enter the heart of a proud person. Almeida, 82 so, Allah also says that Christians are closer to us than other people, as we can also see that Christians are standing along with Muslims in this issue. So, we should respect Christian community as a whole rather than making them responsible for this event. Point number four. What should Muslims do to counter this event? As per me, we can do following. 
please avoid being emotional and having temporal outbursts and don't be provoked. Because certain people want to prove Muslims as terrorists and are waiting in their hidden caves to attack Islam and Muslims on their response. Distribute, share, and propagate the Quran with all. This is the month of Ramadan, so please pray for these people and invite non-Muslims to iftar and share Quran and its teaching with them. Have a dialogue with non-Muslims on the actual teachings of Islam and Quran, or celebrate a mutual love and respect day. Others which you think are according to the teachings of Islam. Point number five. The truth is always opposed. We know from the history as well as Quran that truth is always opposed and suppressed, but it is the quality of the true faith that it will come victorious in the end. Allah also confirms us in Quran. Quran 58 21 Allah has decreed, it is I and my apostles who will be victorious, for Allah is one full of strength, able to enforce his will. Allah has decreed in his prevailing knowledge that he and his messengers will definitely be victorious over his enemies with strength and evidence. Indeed, Allah has the power to help his messengers and is the Almighty who can take retribution from his enemies. Al-Mujadillah, 21 Quran 48, 28, It is he who has sent his messenger with guidance and the religion of truth, to proclaim it over all religion, and enough is Allah for a witness. Allah is the one who sent his messenger Muhammad, peace be upon him, with a clear message and a true religion, the religion of Islam, so that he may make it prevail over all its opposing religions. Allah has testified to that, and he is sufficient as a witness. 28 So, we Muslims should condemn this event in a peaceful manner and do what Allah has commanded us in Quran and leave the rest on Allah, because he has promised to make his religion triumph. Furthermore, whenever Islam is attacked, IT has produced kudr effective results for the attackers and has always made Muslims and non-Muslims to grow in Islam. Peace and blessings unto all. Allah Azza wa Jalla does not force people to be infidels. Questions we often read the verse that Allah proclaims that He has created a cover and a barrier on the eyes and hearts of the disbelievers. God made them deaf and blind to the truth. While we also know that Allah does not force a person to be kafir. How to place these verses? Answer Alhamdulillah Sheikh Ash-Shankithi Rahamahullah stated the answer, that Allah Azza wa Jalla explains in many verses in the Quran that the various obstacles that Allah created in their hearts, hearing and eyes, such as seals, locks and coverings. All of which he created as a reward according to their disbelief that they do, they lied to the apostles. And Allah swerved their hearts with it, or something like it, as a recompense for their disbelief. Among the verses that indicate this is the word of Allah. In fact, Allah has sealed their hearts because of their disbelief, so they will not believe except a few of them. Anissa, 155. I distanced them from my mercy because they broke the promise that was taken from them, disbelieved in Allah's words, boldly killed the prophets and said to Muhammad, Peace be upon him. Our hearts are covered, so we cannot understand what you say that is not the case. Instead, Allah has sealed their hearts so no good reaches them. They only have a little faith, which will not be of any use to them. Anissa, 155. This is a clear proof from the Quran that their previous disbelief was the cause of their hearts being locked up. The Word of God But when they turned away, Allah turned away their hearts. Ashaf, 5 After Allah mentioned fighting and praised the believers who stand tightly together in fighting in His path. He mentioned the opposition that the people of Moses and Jesus displayed towards their messengers as a warning to the believers against opposing their prophet, and He said, Remember, O Messenger, when Moses said to his people, O my people, why do you hurt me by going against my instruction when you know that I am Allah's messenger to you? When they moved away and deviated from the truth that he brought to them, Allah caused their hearts to move away from the truth and steadfastness. Allah does not guide to the truth of people who go against his obedience. Asaf, 5 Likewise in the word of God. That is because they believed, then disbelieved, then their hearts were sealed, so they do not understand. al 3 that is because they hypocritically professed faith, but faith did not reach their hearts, and then they secretly rejected Allah. So he put a seal on their hearts on account of their disbelief, so that faith cannot enter it. Due to the seal, they do not understand that in which lies their rectitude and righteousness. al munafikin 3. Also in the word of God. In their hearts was a disease, and Allah increased their disease, and for them is a painful punishment because they lied. Al-Baqarah, 10. Allah increases the disease in their hearts, and they reap what they sow. 
because they lied Allah increases the disease of doubts in their hearts by adding hesitation to their uncertainty, hence they only gain what they deserve. They will have a painful suffering in the worst parts of hell because they lied against Allah and the people and rejected the message brought by Muhammad, peace be upon him. Al-Baqarah, 10 Also in his word And we turn away their hearts and their eyes as though they had not believed in it in the first place, and we leave them wandering in their error. Alan A.M. 110 And I will turn their hearts and vision by intervening between them and preventing their guidance to the truth. Just as I intervened between them and faith in the Quran the first time because of their stubbornness. I will leave them in their misguidance and rebellion against their Lord, confused and wandering. Alan M. 110 Also in his word. Nay, but what they used to earn closed their hearts. al 14 When my verses revealed to my messenger are recited to him, he says, These are stories of the earlier nations and are not from Allah. The matter is not as these deniers thought. Instead, the sins they used to commit has dominated and covered their minds and they therefore have not seen the truth with their hearts. al 13-14 and many other verses that show that the lock of the heart and the heart hindered to understand the guidance is the punishment from Allah for the former disbelief. This is also an answer to the objections raised by the al jabriya people who hold in their understanding with these verses and the like in the Quran. Referency, Siek Muhammad Shola al-Munajid.